how to strip down a BWA engine to the block so you can replace all your parts. So to get to the turbo manifold bolts, you need to remove this shield which will make your life easier to get to so you could get a socket in there rather than a spanner. So this was held on by two 10mm nuts and then he had a M8 or triple square 8, whatever you want to call it. Just let this come straight off and then you could gain access to the nuts there. Once you take off that 12 mil nuts, one, two, three, four, five at the top there, and then it's got one, two, three, four, five at the bottom too. You could split it from here, but this one seems a bit tight, so I just want to take it off as one goal of the manifold and turbo, and just remove a few of these pipes remove a few pipes here that one there remove that and remove that that's holding the engine and you just lift it up and it'll come up and the back ones here i've gone in with a spanner and it's not ideal how they built it but it is what it is and it's almost coming just taken off this valve, it's sat on there with three hex fives and they usually go wrong when you get under boost, you usually get a little cut in the hole around there, split somewhere which gives it under boost but this may be the updated one on the BWAs yeah which usually don't split so this is the updated one but on the mark 5 gti's the early ones on the axx they used to tend to split here where you'd get the under boost so after you get the back one out the one hidden at the back there and you've taken off all the piping, take this off, it'll slide straight off. Just gotta wiggle it a little. It should just come straight off like that. So now we've removed the turbo, we're gonna go ahead and remove this intake manifold, the plastic one, and it's got a couple of T30s right at the back there a couple of these lines these fuel lines that need removing i'll leave this and i'll remove it with the whole pipe on and then this high fuel pressure high fuel pressure it's just got one nut down there you crack open and that pipe that goes across there for the fuel lines and then you got t30s one two one, one got three T30s and that comes off and then we got the vacuum pump to remove and that clutch down there so when you get your new engine to put in you should be able to do this if it's underground even a DIYer you just have to be careful doing it and just get the gasp grasp of it what you need to remove when you remove some things, you want to keep some things together so you don't want to split too many things and then you have to build it back but if you could um, keep some things on like this fuel line it makes life easier, keep it all together so when you build it back on the new engine this could just go straight in I just removed all the piping from there just have to remove this one down here and at the same time I'm just removing all the pipes to the intake all the T30s that come off from the top there to keep this pipe try not to damage anything otherwise it's going to be very hard going back in or leak and <coughs> put a rag down here 
for this high pressure fuel pump and just squeeze out the squeeze out the petrol so it doesn't spill all over the floor let's get it all out and it is cleaner just put a rug there after that just get a 17 mil and crack that open and then remove this nipple here so that you could get access to that T30 and that will come off after you take off this top sensor. Once you've removed the bolt down there, the nut, so you could get access to the last fitting. Once you go in, you just go ahead and just pry it out, get a screwdriver, you just gotta pry it out and then it'll come come away. But I still got one more at the bottom to take away this one here that pipe there and everything else is loose about it except that to remove the vacuum pump simply remove a bolt up here one there and one there and then remove this one that holds this bucket and then just pry at the back here through the back there pry pry it loose and just like that it'll come out just take off the clutch we call it a M12 I think or M10 there's Six bolts and you'd release the flywheel clutch that you will need for your car because when you buy a block from breakers you don't get nothing but just a bare engine so when you get to the intake manifold you have to remove the T-30 there 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 a few here one at the back there and then there's a few more bolts that you need to get from underneath so how I'm going to tackle this, I'm going to remove this throttle, there's four T-30s holding it and there's one at the back that's been blocked off by this pipe here so what I'm going to simply do is there's some hexicum 5s and just going to remove this whole thermostat out of the way with this pipe, remove these two here and take away all of that pipe in and then I could get access to that and then I could get to the last couple of bolts underneath to remove that intake manifold but not there once you move the throttle if you can see at the back there there's a T30 and there's a 10 mil down there you have to remove and one two three these T30s and once you remove that and you've removed all of that everything you just shake it and it should come off with the thermostat i'm going to remove it from there and then at this end here so i'll keep all the pipes together and the cooler so when i go to put it back on everything will just be in order rather than disconnecting them one by one this makes the process long this intake manifold once you've removed everything get all that mess out you just have to pry on it and it will come on once you've got it out here it's just holding it by a few sensors a few clips and it'll all come out it's very dirty and messy down there so just maybe you want to put a rug or something all that petrol that spilled out just be careful when you're pulling it back so you don't damage nothing just have to move the stabiliser out of the way as well and this oil feed pipe that's clipped on just spin it 
with a mold grip at the bottom and just move that away and then the stabiliser is held on with a 12mm, 13mm and then a M, M12 triple square, M10 sorry and it just comes out okay guys I'm just going to move these pipes and the block will be ready so thanks again for watching my video on how to strip down a BWA engine to the block so you can replace all your parts replace all your parts with a new one your second hand engine if, you, if that's the way you're going to do it this is what you'd need to do to remove everything off hope I've helped somebody please like and subscribe